Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my NGRX Angular course. In this video, we will try to see how to implement this NGRX entity in a practical. Now, if you try to see our project, here we are having the we are displaying the posts list project. So that is nothing but what we can see is here in the posts module, we are having complete CRUD implementation. That means creating the post, that means adding a post, updating the post, deleting the post, and also retrieving the single post details so we are having the complete crud operation here in the post module so now what we'll try to do is in the previously what we have did we have implemented the basic ngrx store representation now what we'll try to do is we'll try to convert this ngrx thing into a ngrx entity then after then you will understand how we can write this one in the ngrx entity now if we go here into the post list first one what we need to do is we need to convert the state so we already have the all the project structure here what i will try to do is we'll be having the post state so first what we need to do we need to extend this one post state extends this one to the entity sorry first what we need to do we need to install the ngrx slash entity so in order to use the ngrx entity in your project you need to install the ngrx entity let it install the ngrx entity ngrx entity has been successfully installed in our system now what we need to do is first we need to post state so we need to declare the state the post state extends the entity state so first it should extend the entity state it should be imported from the ngrx slash entity and here in this one what we need to do is we need to give the entity name so the how right now here the entity name is the post we need to give the entity name now we can remove this one directly okay so we have given the entity name so there is no need to implement so here we are having the post state it should extend the entity state of post now what we need to do initial state so now before creating the initial state what we need to do is you need to create a second step is the create a adapter now here export constant post adapter okay is equal to create entity adapter and we need to give the entity name okay so this is the how we will be creating the adapter so we have created successfully created that we have created the post state and the second step is the we have created the entity adapter after creating the entity adapter you if you want you can mention the initial state so right now initial state is equal to what i can what i can say so now you can write here the post state something like this okay post state so here what you can do is post adapter dot get initial state okay so you should close it and open it. so this is the get initial state so if you have the post state uh, if you have any post default post if you want to load miss you can add the post like this and you can add the data okay so right now we don't have any post so we'll be getting it from the database and we'll add it dynamically so right now we don't have any initial state so post state is added now what we need to do we have designed the state so we got we have defined the interface post state and we got the adapter and also we have defined the initial state also so this is the this part is completed now let's go to the red user okay so now what is this red user will do so red user it is total we are getting adapt, uh, errors so now here we are having adding a post updating the post deleting the post and also adding multiple posts so adding all the posts at a time okay so we are having these these four details now when we create the adapter if you try to go here and if you try to see here when we create the adapter so the adapter has some methods okay the, the adapter will give you some methods what are those methods here you'll be having the multiple methods right why because it is as it is an entity so you know the entity how it will be so it will be having the list of ids and another one will be the list of entities so as it is having the list of uh, ids and entities so now here it will be providing some useful methods so what is this one add one add many select all select one remove one remove many these are all methods so using these methods we can do the operations very easily how we can do so let's try to see so first one what we are having is here add post success so add post success means nothing but adding a single post so adding a single post if you go here you'll be able to see that add one 
So add one entity to the collection. So that means we are adding add one entity to the collection. So we are adding one post right. So we can directly use this add one. So now here I can remove this one directly entire code. Okay. Now we can use simple adapter method that is nothing but the post adapter. Okay. We have the post adapter. Let's import that post adapter. It is imported automatically at the top. Post adapter where it is imported. Try to import post adapter okay from the post state post adapter dot so you'll be having some bunch of methods so you are having add one so let's take the add one and let's give the post what is the post you want to add action dot post and we need to supply the state so in which state i need to add so just supply the state that's it finish so add one is completed okay update post success will be a little bit of different we will see last so another one is the delete post success if you go here delete one means nothing but the remove one okay so remove many also we are having so remove one so we one id we need to remove so now here if you try to see remove one i can remove this one all code okay i can do return post adapter we need to use the post adapter dot remove one remove one and need to pass the id and also the state that's it very easy so load post success load post success is nothing but what we need to say so we are adding all the posts at a time so that means so first time we are adding the post completely we are replacing all the posts so that means this add one add many what it will do it will append uh, append the post with the already existing post so this is not this will be not useful what we will use is set all set all means replace the current collection with the provided collection so this is the set all we need to use so now what we can do here we can completely remove this one and we can use return post adapter dot set all okay and send the action dot post complete post and here state okay so now we have completed the load post success so, so here update means so, so update is a little bit of different so what we need to do is update will not take the post directly update will take the entity of the state so it will be having the entity uh, update update of type update type it will be having so for example here so here if you go to the update post access it will not take the post here directly it will take the type of update okay it will be having one update so type so we need to use this type so we need to send the data of this type update update of type post so how, what is this method update my update type will exist of is so if you try to see here update entity interfaces i think maybe it could be existing here no entity adapter if you try to see here idea of string name okay fine so here if you try to see yeah here you will be having the entity update okay update so this update you need to pass the id first you need to tell the id which whatever the id you are getting update and the changes so what are the changes you will be having so partial of team is the data so what is the data you are trying to send send it as in here so this is how the data should be so now what i need to do is here i can go i am sending the update of post and where we will be using this update post success in the post effects right in the post effects so we are using the post service dot update post and here what i can do switch map and we we, we should not send the post right so now here i can use constant updated post of type update okay it should be imported update of post okay update of post is equal to first i should send the id action dot post dot id okay and next another one will be the changes so changes i will be having all the action dot post i can use the spread operator and i can use the action dot post that's it so i need to send this updated post to this variable so now return update post success is done so if you try to see here post.actions.es so here we are able to get the data and the post reducer.es what we need to do here in the update post success here return okay post adapter dot update one okay update one of action dot post okay so of state we need to pass the state so that's it so we have uh, we have converted our entire reducer into the entity entity ngrx entity adapter 
see how much linear the code is so there is no need of uh, taking care of this uh, immutability and all those things everything entity adapter will take care ngrx entity just we need to use this adapter methods and we need to do the basic trend operation okay now if you try to see the error we are able to get some errors what is the errors is so we are getting some errors in the post dot selector okay so now the reducer thing we have completed now we will see in the next video how we can get rid of these errors and how we can use this state dot post is not existing right now state dot post we are not existing it is existing the entity data so how we can do this one let's try to see it in the next video okay so this is how we will be updating the data so we have seen the simple what we can say how to update using the post adapter how we can use this adapter methods we have seen to update the entity okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you